Hello everybody, watch back to another episode of Nate vs. Seth, Smackdown vs. Raw, 2019, uh, well, or, well, I guess this would be 2020 for you guys. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, it's GM mode, by the way. General manager. I guess if you're this far into the series, I don't really have to specify that too much. No. Plus the title says GM mode. Um. I don't think I want to play that one. That's lame. You form too strong of a tag team. Christian <laughs> and Chris Jericho. <laughs> I don't think Hulk Hogan works well on a team or something because he lost last week and lost this week. <laughs> Just doesn't seem like he's working out for him. Something like that one. Hey, Joey got to win. Cool. There you go. Um, I try not to play that one, but you might be tough as Trish, so never mind. Oh. I'm trying to revive Michelle McCool's career. Oh, yeah, you, you hired Michelle. You probably should mention you hired Michelle McCool. Yeah, after, Steve Austin got injured, so after Stone Cold, I fired him. So I sad injury. Hired Michelle McCool. I'll probably try to get Stone Cold whenever he's close to being back. Um, I think I'll skip that as well. So I just see the matches. Sheldon. <laughs> I think I'm apparently good at Sheldon Benjamin. <laughs> apparently they're two between fighters in the rivalry. Yeah, it's just a uh, friendly rivalry. They shake their hands. <laughs> yeah. With Hulk Hogan slightly getting annoyed I think every time. He's slowly starts doing more and more Hollywood type things. <laughs> yeah. What were you about to say? So I think I'm like getting good at Shelton Benjamin or something because uh -oh. I seem to be always winning or getting close to it. Yeah, I guess. Well, you just get close to it. I don't think you really won. I won, won last week against Hulk Hogan. Oh yeah, that's right. I think you did. Tag team match. <coughs> yeah, this was uh, filmed before Christmas. It's filmed in December for January. Yeah. We record these ahead of time. <laughs> Why does Sheldon rub his face like that? Just like goes back and forth rubbing. He's putting an aftershave on. I remember when we were doing Space Billy, I thought my beard was really like big for the time then. And then we do Billy the, the movie and it looks like Billy lost control of his hair growth. See who's stronger. That's kind of predictable. <laughs> I wonder if Shelton's gonna do it. Could have fight like faster. and didn't click uh, X like one time. Actually went for a punch there, it actually kind of fit. Mm -hmm. 
off of that Tajiri kick. Oh boy. There we go. See, that's not a Hulk Hogan kind of thing to do. He's turning Hollywood for okay. Shelton Benjamin is the new Hulk Hogan. Benjamania. Cooking as weak as he was against Batista. No, no. kicked out. Not this time. Hogan's getting beat like it's TNA days. That's not what it looks like right now. Possibility to grab a leaf. <laughs> so that didn't work. It's always good when the animations actually end up looking smooth. Instead of looking really choppy and weird. Yeah. Okay. I just moved out of the way. First, I was doing it just for suspense, but how do you get in and out? Square. Oh, I'd have pressed that. Uh, I just thought it wasn't aiming at it right or something. Brutal beating. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely just a turn on Hollywood. <laughs> I mean, I'll still wear red and yellow because I don't want to change them. Why, well, Because, like, he went from just fighting Shelton Benjamin 
And then <laughs> Benjamin would beat him up for a long time, and then he finally came back. It's kind of a classic Hulk Hogan match. Yeah. It was a kind of a classic match. <laughs> Early 2000s music. Remember that? Huh? Remember early 2000s music? Yeah, early 2000s music wasn't that good. Modern music's better. Although modern music's mostly like rap, so maybe not that modern music. Well, rap's been around forever. Yeah, but it's really popular now. It went from being like something that was popular with like gangs and different stuff to now just being popular to like anyone who listens to music. For the most part. Well, that's kind of how it was in the 2000s. Yeah. You shouldn't have to be a part of a gang to listen to rap right now. No, but. I wonder how many times this exact scene has happened between yeah. these two. Well, I mean, it's perfectly fit because either one will do a cheap shot. Yeah. Slow motion that makes it so easy to reverse. Yeah. Something off of top ropes for some reason always been really easy to reverse. Even nowadays. I'd say nowadays it's even easier. I probably would hate to see this match again. Brown <laughs> versus Batista again, really? <laughs> I was grabbing you in the corner, wasn't I? I think I moved right at the end. your legs a minute here. <laughs> Poor Raph. You didn't do anything to deserve that. You yeah, should have caught in the though. It's always just kind of sad when a ref gets knocked out in the no DQ match because it's like it can't even benefit anyone. Just hurts the ref. <laughs> 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 I got off a 
<laughs> so yell at you like, why did you hit me like that, man? <laughs> he just took the head of the steel chair. <laughs> he wasn't even the one getting yelled at. He's supposed to be a clean fighter because I'm not getting anything from using the steel chair. Yeah. It must be. How are we ever gonna knock anyone out? We don't even have like finishers to do anything to the head. <laughs> Just uh, multiple dogs up and steel chairs. <laughs> we like dodge each other's steel chair attacks, so it's just three bulldogs. Usually, if you have like a character who punches the head a lot, that's useful. Yeah. Jeez, or Brett might have that pile driver as his finisher, and that might do it. Whatever that move was. What was the pile driver? His finisher, I mean. Sometimes you have the pile driver as a finisher. Picks him up and he does the pile driver. It's the first time, like, maybe ever that I've seen a sledgehammer hit actually, like, do what it's supposed to do. down on the d-pad in the circle, you can do it oh, to the face. I see. So, because you can't do a pen. Yeah. I just don't remember if they had this in this game or not. So, no, they haven't. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, that's why I didn't say it first. Wah. That was a really good camera angle for that. No finisher. <laughs> Just bashed your head with a hip bell. <laughs> but 
Batista's like on an undefeated streak here. Yeah. It's also super popular. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm kind of helping your brain more than learning it by doing this. What did I do with the bell to make him bleed that much? And I killed him. He's dead. They don't make it look like he's breathing at all. He literally looks dead. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Batista just killed Bret Hart. <laughs> Smash the side of the bell and the foot. <laughs> Bret Hart's fired. Whoa. Your outro. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe and uh, leave a good comment down in the comments below if you'd like. And goodbye. Goodbye.